Hello, hello, hello. How are you? This is Libby Cunningham here, uh, Director Stylist with Ruby Ribbon, and I am jumping on and doing this training really quick today to talk to you about sizing. It's one of the biggest things we want to get under our belt uh, pretty quickly once we join because that will get us up and running and um, creating happy customers and setting all the boobs free, right? <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to share my screen and take you through this training, which I hope will be helpful. So um, a few things I wanna talk about before we get started. Um, in, in, this, in this training, I'm gonna to talk to you about some tips and tricks and kind of um, tools that I use and my team use uh, in sizing new customers. Um, one of the biggest things though that I have to recommend you do when you first join is to put camis on real people. So this training is not intended to replace real hands-on experience. That's the best way to really learn the most about our camis and how they fit different body types and how to learn the different styles. Um, that really is the best way. So even if you're planning on running this business 100% online, which I totally get, that's what I do, I do recommend having a little practice, real life practice. And one way to do that is just, just to invite some family or friends over and say, hey, I just started this business. I need to get some practice um, with fitting these camis. Can you come over? There's no obligation to buy. I'm not even gonna try to sell you. I just want to have you try in a couple camis. That's a great way to, um, to get some practice. And what will happen is these, um, these sizings that you do will create reference points. So as you are meeting people out and about or again online, you'll recognize, okay, I know that body type. That's really close to my friend or that's really close to me. And you will um, have a better understanding of what size or even what style will be the best fit for her. So I strongly suggest even going through this training, do not skip this step. Practice, put camis on bodies, okay? So let's get started. If you haven't got your kit yet, stay tuned. But if you do have your kit in it on page nine is this great, um, this great kind of info sheet on how to fit a cami and a demiette. Again, it's on page nine in the getting started guide. So look out for it when your kit arrives or if you already have it, pull it out and read it over in practice. Um, I'm just going to go over the information on here really quickly, but it just sums up the sizing process and gives you a little extra information. So sizing is easy. You just need to know two things to fit any woman. What's her bra band size and what is her cup size? The bra band size. Ask her what bra she wears and the answer corresponds to the cami or demi size. If she hesitates, take a measurement. Your starter kit has the hesitate measure right below her bust, which we call the anchor point. If she measures an, measures an odd size, like 37, go up to the next size. Next, you wanna know her cup. If she's a B or a C and wants only light shaping, you'll match her band size to a classic cami. If she's a B or higher and wants more support, suggest a full support cami. If she's an A cup, she might wear a cami with petals or consider a dream cami or wear your own bra twisted. Um, so if she spills over in the front, so has a fuller cup size or a double D, we go up a size and we're gonna get uh, more practical in a second does not know her cup size, here's the tip and trick for that. Measure her around the fullest part of her bust. A one inch difference from her band measurement equals an A cup. A two inch difference equals a B cup and so on. The three inch difference is a C cup, so you get it. So that's one way to get her full um, bra sizing. And I will say here, now I've been doing this a little while now and I'm always amazed at how many women are in a poor fitting bra. Uh, maybe they took a shot in the dark and just guessed what size they are. Maybe they've lost or gained weight. Maybe they went somewhere and the person just did not size them correctly. But it always is crazy to me um, how far off people really are from their bra size. And that's one of the reasons why I, we do like to get the anchor measurement when at all possible. Because that's just going to make sure you have the best, best fit rather than taking their word for it and trusting that their bra is the correct fit. So. Which cami? 
The design families of original sheer and lace are designed to fit all women. And most of our customers mix and match based on the neckline, the strap config configurations, or their moods. Some even have classics when less support is needed, a demiette and full support for other days. With our amazing fabric, one cami adapts to women of all shapes and sizes. However, there are secret talents. Now, there is, um, you should have gotten with this training link uh, several pictures that also go over the cami secret talent. I highly suggest to read that over several times, get to know it. Keep those on hand also to share with your customers while you're sizing. So when you make a recommendation, share those images with them so they understand why you're telling them to go with a certain style. Um, so here's just a few tips and tricks that they kind of outline. If she's very short-waisted, the original is a bit shorter, very long-waisted, the lace is a bit longer. Shear is in between. The differences in length are a mere one quarter to a half an inch, allowing everyone to enjoy all styles. If she's extra curvy on the bottom, the shear or lace provide a little bit more give. Um, when trying on the cami, remind her to step into it, not over her head. And again, there's a video that we share with proper cami placement um, to all of our customers after they order so that they see the proper way to put on a cami and get the very best fit. Um, so let's go on to the next slide. So here this kind of summarizes what we just talked about. So first and foremost, we need at the very least her current bra size, but we would also really love to have her anchor measurement and so when we do that we know we get that number if it's an odd number so in between sizes we round up but then we also know that how it coincides um, with the cups if they are a b c or d cup stay with the same band size if they are double d or greater size up just to make sure there's enough room in the molded breast cup area so that's what we start with the measurement and we know kind of where to go with the number and then we pick the cami so uh, if they're a B cup, we're gonna likely um, move them over to a classic cami or a full support with pedals for sure. Please make sure you have them grab those pedals because they will need a little help in the cup area. Um, are they a C or D cup? And do they like adjustable straps or a wider strap? Or maybe ask them, you know, do they want a firm or a gentle hug that will help guide you towards pushing them into a classic or a cami? But honestly, uh, when you're getting to C or D and above, really full support is the way to go to make sure they have the great, the best support. And again, you will get a copy of this hopefully with your training, if you haven't with this training, if you haven't, please um, get back to your upline or the person that shared this video with you. So how do I gather this information? We do it a few different ways. If we're talking in Messenger or on Facebook and it's more like a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you can see there on the left, the kind of blue box, that's what I would send somebody um, via Messenger and saying, hey, can you answer these quick sizing questions? I actually have this blurb saved as a text replacement in my phone because I answer it. I ask it all the time and I do follow up with that next picture on the bottom. How do I get sized? I show them the exact measurement that, um, that I'm looking for. So I'll normally send that blurb and then follow up saying, and if you have a soft measuring tape, can you please take this measurement and send it over to me as well? Now, if we're in a party, then I usually use a jot form, which you'll see at the top right, that asks everything we need to know, um, all of the information. And if you need inform if you need more details on a jot form, let me know. But that gives you know, gets you all the information you need and it delivers it to your email and then also saves it in a data database on jotform.com and it's free, which I love free, right? Don't we all? So tips and tricks as we're going about sizing. Um, you want to make personal sizing and style recommendations for every customer. This is important. We never want to send people straight to our site to just figure it out. That is a super quick way to have a very high return rate. We want to talk to people, get to know our customers, and really provide personalized service. That's going to set us apart from other uh, shapewear companies and really create a long, long-term, long-lasting relationship with each customer. Uh, when you're recommending each style or size for your customers, make sure you're giving them choices. Always recommend two different styles of camis and um, don't forget the demi -et. So we do this for a few reasons. You never know which hug they're gonna like the best. 
Um, if we tell them, okay, I think you will be great in a 38 full support cami, there's three different choices for you. I think the lace full support would be great, but as a second option, you could definitely go with the original full support and definitely check out our demi as well. Give them the options. You never know which one they're going to like the best. And I guarantee if we size them right, uh, they'll be back for more. So um, we also want to encourage them to comply with the wear, wear one, rest one rule, where they're giving their camis a day, a day of rest <laughs> in between wears. Um, so if they are truly ready to ditch their bra, they need to start with at least two camis. That way they can alternate back and forth and wash their camis on the weekend and never have to wear a bra again. Um, also, don't be afraid to ask more questions and even go snooping on their wall to see pictures. The more info we have, the better. And it's just a great way to build a rapport and get to know our customers. Again, we want to create customers for a very long time, not just one and done. So um, go back and say, hey, are you sure this measurement is right? Or hey, can you remeasure? Or hey, do you mind sending me a picture? I just want to make sure I have a perfect kind of idea of your body type so I can get you matched up properly. Don't be afraid to ask more questions questions. They'll appreciate it and you're creating a happier customer in the long run. So let's have some practice. Here is a real customer that came in through my job form. Um, this is kind of what you'll see in the database and which the information you get via email when someone fills out the job form. So here we go. We're looking at Denise. She's a 42 double D. Um, a size 16 in dress pants. She's five foot four. She has an hourglass and her anchor measurement is 40. So, okay, anchor measurement 40, 40. So let's look at this information and see based on what we just went over. So with her anchor being a 44, uh, I'm sorry, with her anchor being a 40, but she's a double D um, in my head, I'm thinking she will want to size up. So she has the room in the breast cups. So I would recommend for her a lace full support and as well as the sheer full support as backup, explaining to her that the sheer has a v-neck um, and I'd love for her to see which style she likes the best. So that's would be, that would be my recommendation when I go back to her after reviewing her form. Let's check another one. Kristen. Okay, Kristen has an anchor measurement of 37 and a half. Her current bra is a 38C slash D, so she's somewhere in between that. Um, clothing size is a 10, 12, and she's 5'4. So with her anchor measurement, um, we could run up to a 38. I feel like with her sizing, um, and she's basically a C or a D, we could stay right at 38, and I would recommend any of our full support camis, lace, original, or, or the sheer full support. So, okay, let's have some practice, okay? Let's go over this one. I'm going to give you a second to think about it, and then I will let you know what I would do. And let's see if you understand the rules. So, Jody, her anchor measurement is a 40. She's currently in a 42 double D bra. Her size is an 18, and she's 5'7". So let's just talk about it a little bit. Um, she's a double D, so she does have a full cup, and she's a size 18, which is, you know, more so on moving into the plus size um, arena. And she's tall, tallish, 5'7", right? So what would you do? Think about it, and I'm going to give you a second to think of your answer, and then I'm going to tell you what I would do. Okay, so because she's a double D and an 18, I would bump her up to a 42, definitely one of our full support camis. And I would, she's 5'7", so on the tall side, I'm 5'6 and a half. These are the things I'm thinking out loud for you guys. I'm 5'6 and a half. I can wear the original full support and get coverage as well. So she's a little taller than me. I would, my first recommendation would be, a 42 lace full support and then I would say as a backup you could you should try the sheer or the original and definitely check out our demi so did you get that right um, let's try one more so Amy Amy is has a 38 anchor she's in a, a 38 C bra she's a 1214 in clothing size and she's 57 think it over for a minute what would you recommend
Okay, so uh, this one's pretty straightforward. She's a 38, she measures a 38, she's in a 38, she's in a C, so which is saying we could stay with the same size. Um, and she's again, a little bit tall. So my recommendation for her would be a 38 lace full support followed by like a sheer or the original. And definitely throw in a camp, throw in a demi for good measure. Um, did you get that right? So this is an area, I think that's all of them, yes. So keep practicing. Talk to your upline uh, when you have questions. If that's me, shoot me a message. I'm always happy to kind of share my expertise and tell you what I think. Well, this is not a situation where we're always get it 100% right, but the more time we spend on learning the process, putting camis on bodies, we will get better. We will get better, and again, that will create um, happier customers and a lower return rate. So in turn, happier corporate office, right? <laughs> um, so definitely ask questions though. Say your upline is not available, post in the all stylist group. There's so many women who have been at this a long time and are really great at sizing and are happy to help. Um, but then lastly, have fun. Have fun, this is your business. It is here to make it everything you want it to be. If this is a side hustle to bring in a couple hundred dollars, you can definitely do that. If you're here to replace your full-time income, listen, we have lots of women doing that as well. Um, and it starts with sizing. It starts with getting great at sizing. So I thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And yes, let's get ready to help women say bye-bye bra.